So I'm just on my way to first day of medical school. Um, so it's Monday, 12th of September. Um, as you can see, we are always surrounded by the water um, wherever you go. So yeah, I'm just heading towards the bus. I am actually quite early. It's about nine or five in the morning. My first lecture is at 11. Um, and to be honest, it's a pretty chill day. Um, there's nothing new. Yeah, it's nothing really on. Um, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Medified Vicky. This is Suffolk, first year medical student at Bond Uni. Um, this is the first week of medical school, as I said earlier. So when I looked at the week's schedule, I just thought, well, they're taking it really slowly because when you think of medical school there, I thought that, you know, they'd chuck you into the deep end and they just throw all this bunch of content at you. But when I saw that it was just basic cells and tissues, I was really surprised. Also, yeah, the ads um, can be quite quirky here, uh, as I've found out. So that's a bus stop. I think the real benefit of having a very nice, slow, easing start to university, I think, is when you don't really have to worry about the content, you get to focus on settling in and connecting with people. And that's really important because these are the people that you're going to be you know, surrounded by um, for the next five years and probably more, seeing that you're going to be a doctor in the future. And just having the time at the beginning to just really slow things down and get to know each other um, during the next, the first few weeks, I think is really crucial, which most other medical schools, I believe, miss. Um, even today it's empty. Literally the first day of university, the campus is completely empty. So I just came to pee. And what happened? That's disgusting. Something that I forgot to mention earlier was that when I was walking to the bus stop in the morning, I actually got chased and swooped by a magpie. And for people that don't know what a magpie looks like, well, it kind of looks like this. Um, those things are actual beasts. So that was like a, about a two foot bird swooping down on a six foot guy. Um, and you can imagine how that would be. <laughs> so it's at the end of the day, um, and I just got off the bus, which is just leaving. I just wanted to show you those. It's important to take notice of what's happening around you in terms of you know appreciating nature as it is you know there's actually a big global crisis that's going on you know we've been being taught that in lectures and stuff but taking a moment to just pause and just look outside and like notice the colors of the sky the weather the sounds and all of that so it's it's day two um, I couldn't be bothered recording at the end of yesterday, but um, to give you a quick rundown, we had a bit of a kind of welcome to the um, small group learning um, things, and we kind of got introduced to what we're going to be doing over the um, next few weeks. And so what they're meant to do is they put you in small groups and they give you kind of like a facilitator, and then you guys work through a scenario that you get at the beginning of the week and then you, you kind of work through it over the week and then at the end you have another two hour um, you know another lesson and then you kind of recap and kind of I think present to the group um, just a little bit confused as to what this small group learning or SGL kind of really is um, and then there's kind of an assignment and things in week four which we have to submit in week 11 yeah, so I'm still trying to get used to that. And then we kind of had um, a bit of a, an hour or so break because one of the um, lectures um, got postponed because the lecturer had a bit of an illness. Um, so it was postponed. And then the next thing was we went into clinical practice. So this is the one where you kind of learn about history taking, um, you know, how to approach patients, professionalism, um, why is professionalism important to med, um, all those things like that. Um, we got introduced to, we learned a few like mnemonics, um, acronyms and things to do with history taking, um, which I thought was really cool. Um, what else do we have? We also had, after that, a bit of an intro to human, um, human bio, I guess, um, and it was very, very basic, so like talking from the body and then going down, right down to like atoms kind of thing, so it was very basic. We touched a bit on homeostasis. Um, and yeah, so it was really basic yesterday, um, because I didn't want to scare us with all the, you know, complex stuff. 
but yeah, so I didn't have the energy to uh, to record um, at the end of yesterday, so I thought I'd give you a quick run, quick rundown. But um, quite early today um, because my bus does come a bit, you know, in the weirdest of times. And the place that I'm staying at at the moment is um, quite far from the bus stop, so I have a bit of a walk, 20, 30 minute walk to get to the bus stop. So it is 9.25. My first lecture is at 11. So yes, I am quite early, so I'm probably just going to study for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's pretty empty. So this is inside the health building, by the way. It is pretty empty um, on this side. There is another side, which is over that wall. Um, there seems to be a few people there, but it's pretty empty by Auckland standards anyway. So yeah, I guess I'll catch, you, catch up with you guys a bit later on in the day, if I feel like it. Um, but yeah, cool. Many hours later. So to make my 8 or 9 a.m. lectures in the morning, I have to wake up pretty early. So I have to get up at around 5.30 or so to make it in time in a good amount of time so that I can actually study or before I even start my lectures. So one of the main highlights of the first week of med school was actually going into a cadaver lab. Um, I know a lot of students actually look forward to this and, and definitely I was one of them. So when we went in we had two cadavers so from the top up and they were already pre-dissected and one was plastinated so it was kind of undergone like a like a plasticky kind of process oh that's how you want to call it it's probably not accurate but you get the point the other one was kind of preserved so you could still see the all the tissues and stuff intact the other one did as well but it just felt a bit more plasticky but this one was it felt a bit more alive if that makes any sense and we just looked through all the different kinds of tissues the organs and kind of felt them with our actual hands and it was a very good experience um, to have really early on so that you can identify the different kinds of organs in an actual body instead of just on diagrams and textbooks and lecture slides so this was at a year one plus year two mixer event where we got to kind of meet our seniors and meet our previous cohort which is the May cohort they're also year ones and we got to talk to them introduce ourselves and it was, it was a bit of a social event not really compulsory to attend but I went anyway just to meet some more new people and funnily enough I did find more people from Auckland um, some from my cohort some from the May cohort and we, we talked quite a bit and um, I had to leave early because I had other, other commitments afterwards but it was a really fun night just getting to meet people. So it's Friday, uh, end of first week of medical school. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm I look pretty tired, I look pretty uh, worn out. Um, yeah, sorry for the shaky camera, I'm carrying quite a lot of weight at the moment. Um, might not look like a lot. So, just to kind of sum everything up, we had quite a lot of, a lot of lectures, workshops. Uh, we also had our cadaver lab um, yesterday, Thursday. The it was, it was very chill though, um, there wasn't really any new content, at least for me, um, at least the, except for the history taking and clinical practice kind of um, the domain, which was the kind of new stuff, but other than that, there's, there was also some like anatomy kind of movements and stuff that we learned. Some of that was new, but all in all, the entire week there isn't too many new things that I personally, you know, came across. Um, but yeah. So there you guys have it. That's first week of medical school at Bond Uni. There, again, to cap everything off, um, the things that actually worked for me in this week were actually having a very good, strict uh, morning routine beginning with me not touching my phone and that's something from previous experience from university um, that I went to last year and it's 
I know that many people go on their phones and that's my biggest tip is just don't go on your phone the first thing you wake up but there again hope you guys enjoyed that and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one